All right, hey everybody, this is Justin from Lake Murray Aerial again, and today we're gonna to be talking about a new frame from Taro. This is the Taro X8. Kind of an unfortunate name, because people are gonna think you're talking about a, uh, you know, coaxial forearm octocopter, but it is a flat octocopter. Uh, I just got this in from Hobby Wing today, and um, you know, I've opened up the box, but I haven't opened up any of the components inside. So we're gonna be doing this unboxing together. So with that being said, Go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, first thing we're gonna come to is the center plates. Give you a decent look at those. Pretty big, I don't have a tape measure with me. Um, this is a 1050 uh, millimeter octo. I don't know how big these plates are. They look pretty big, huh? I'm going to cut these open real quick. We'll take a look at what is all included on this. Alright, so here we see our... There's the negative, and here's the positive. Alright, those are AS150 AMAS uh, anti-spark connectors. So that's obviously your connectors to your battery right there. Pull those out the bottom and as was kind of suspected there is a power distribution board in there I know it's kind of hard to see on the video um, it has little plug-ins you can go ahead and plug some included connectors yep there they are these are coaxial cables all right and this is what you're going to use to hook up your ESC's to your included power distribution board which is in the center all right, and you can see there are one, two, three XT60 connectors there uh, for your flight controller, your, your other accessories. It's a very, very nice looking board, I must say. Um, especially for the price. All right, let's go and see what else we got in here. All right, we already talked about these. Those are your coaxial connectors. Um, they also have the ESC uh, signal and ground cables, and I didn't really talk about that, but there they are, right there if you can see them. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to run these cables and your uh, coaxial cables are going to plug into here, and then there is a ESC like signal hub right there, yeah, there it is, and uh, you're going to run um, you know, servo leads from this to your flight controller. So that should make for a nice, neat installation. It's kind of cool. All right, so we talked about those. Let's see what's next. Now we've got our motor mounts. Cut these open real quick. Everything's bagged up. All right, there's our motor mounts, the standard Tarot uh, bolt holes that are pre-drilled. And these are kind of new. They have a little vibration dampers here, which are supposed to remove vibrations getting sent down the arm to the uh, you know the flight controller. All right, so we got all those two orange. Standard Taro uh, aluminum and that is orange, and then we have our six that are black. What's next? Spare parts, I guess, little chintzy battery holder. And some extra locking clamps there. Uh, those are just your parts for your landing gear, your little rubber feet. All right, these guys right here, it makes sense once you see it assembled. Um, these actually divert prop wash down through the uh, arm, the boom. And uh, if you install your ESCs inside the boom, these are meant to get some of that prop wash, that cooling air on your ESCs, keep them cool. I'm probably not going to go that way for installation, but those are included. Uh, this is a gimbal mount plate, and here is the mounting hardware for the gimbal mount. And that is aluminum, for sure. So, quality stuff. So, you're going to mount your gimbal to that. Now, this guy here. Hard to see, I know, because of the reflection. Sorry, I'm not going to open all these packages because I don't want like, little pieces of hardware everywhere, but 
Um, this looks to be the controller for our retracts, because this model is one of the first ones besides uh, the Terra 650, which was just released, um, to have integrated electronic retracts, Lanyard retracts. And here they are. So you can see the length of that, and your retracts are right there. Those look very nice. All right, what else we got? All right. It's our GPS mounting uh, post there, and this is a new style. Let's see if I can do this inside the package. Yep. Go ahead and it's almost like a 3.5 millimeter uh, bullet connector that keeps it in there on friction. So you can go ahead and uh, take that off if you're transporting the, the uh, frame somewhere. All right, these look to be the pieces that you know, hard to see that connect the uh, arms to the center plate. I right, see so we have eight of those. These are our landing gear legs, not the uh, vertical, but the part that's actually going to contact the ground. And this is our gimbal mounting rail, it's twelve millimeter, I think. Looks like. All right, and finally, these are the arms. And there's something new about these that I saw in um, Fox Tech's video about this frame just today that I want to show you in case you haven't watched theirs. These are aluminum, which is kind of a departure from Taro. Uh, they usually do carbon, but these are aluminum and um, they're oval shaped. I don't really want to guess at the size there. I probably should have done, uh, brought a tape measure for this video, but um, they're definitely big enough that you can get an ESC in there, although probably not the ESCs I'm gonna use because I'm using extra or 50 amps, which have like a plastic case on them. But anyway, um, you can go ahead and put your ESCs in there and then like, like I said, uh, they come with that plastic piece that fits on the end and the rotor wash is actually gonna divert right into there uh, to keep them cool. Um, and these are extremely stiff. Obviously, because uh, of the shape. But yeah, those are pretty cool. That's a new thing from Terra we haven't seen yet. And finally, last thing in there is the instructions, which are probably going to be horrible in true Terra fashion. But you saw the pieces that we uh, pulled out of the box. It doesn't look too complicated. We'll probably get this together in an hour or two. Um, so I'm not going to do that on this video because this is just an unboxing and honestly I've had a few of these today and I don't think I'm really up to it. But um, I will do a video um, kind of showing you the frame once I get it all put together. So we're going to use this frame. Um, I haven't really decided on the motors yet. Like I said, I am using Hobbywing X Rotor 50 amp ESCs and it's going to be lifting a grouse house. Um, your GHT gimbal, three axis. Um, thinking I'm going to use a full body controller, but anyway, the, the payload's going to be a Nex 5R with a 16 millimeter lens, and this is going to be our new standard aerial platform for Lake Murray Aerial. Um, I guess that's it. I mean, it really seems like an awesome frame, just you know, looking at the parts, and I've seen it assembled, and kind of Taro's take on the S1000, if you will. Uh, and the price is pretty good. Uh, I got this, I want to say like 550 shipped, maybe it was a little bit less from Hobbywing and got here in just a few days. So they are out there and I think some people are going to be really interested in this frame. So I know we didn't go into huge detail, it was just an unboxing, I wanted to show you what was in the box. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, hit me up on RC Groups or go ahead and post a comment if you're looking at this on YouTube. And thanks for watching.